The design is exactly like an Apple Watch and it truly has one of the slimmest bezels on a budget smartwatch. It comes with NFC, so you can even open your smart door lock using this watch. So cool. Hi there! Are you looking for a smartwatch that looks exactly like an Apple Watch and it also gives you a similar experience but still doesn't burn a hole in your pocket? Well then, this is the closest you can get. The Firebolt Vogue. It's an all-metal smartwatch and is priced at just $1999. Especially worth mentioning, it comes with a huge 2-inch display and one of the slimmest bezels I've seen on any budget smartwatch. Of course, it also has all the necessary features like Bluetooth calling, like sports modes, like health tracking and more. We have two units of different colors. Let's quickly unbox it and dive straight in. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Firebolt Vogue. This one is rose gold while this one is silver. You can see some of its key features mentioned here and of course a lot more on the side. Towards the back you can see the QR code for the companion app and an MRP of 14,999. But don't worry you can get this for a lot lesser. Let's quickly open it up and we'll start with the rose gold. Here is the watch itself. It's a full metal watch. We'll have a look at it in just a moment. There's some paperwork, the user manual, coupon codes for Ghana, for Book My Show and some more. And finally, a wireless magnetic charger. Unlike most smartwatches where you have to align the terminals, here you have to just place it on the back and it starts charging instantly. Let's have a look at the silver variant. We all know the contents are exactly the same. The watch, the paperwork and the wireless charger. Alright, let's have a closer look at the watch and we'll start with the gold one. Now first we'll get rid of the screen protector. There you go. There's a full metal smartwatch including the frame as well as the straps as well. First look at it and you know this looks exactly like, you guessed it, the Apple Watch. And just to show you, here's my Apple Watch and they look just the same. Check out the size, the width, the design, the buttons, everything is exactly the same. So if you're wearing this watch, it's definitely looking like you're wearing an Apple Watch. Really, really cool. And of course, you can see here, metal frame, doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges. You can see the rotating crown here. You can spot the microphone for phone calls. There's a single button here. The straps are also really nice. This is made of steel, obviously, and has this magnetic loop design. So it'll adjust according to the wrist size, which will give you that perfect fit. Amazing. Moving towards the back, this is the heart rate sensor, espresso sensor in the center. And of course, if you want to replace these straps, you would just Press this button here and the strap will slide up. So now you can replace it with any Apple bands as well, which is really, really convenient because they have got the exact Apple Watch strap lock. All right, let's quickly have a look at the silver variant. Wow. So for those who like it subtle, this is the one to go for. It looks really nice and clean. Of course, this too is made of metal. You can spot the speakerphone here. On this side, you can see the crown. There's a microphone. There's a single button. Really nice square dial, loop design, magnetic loop strap. There you go. Strong magnets, also specially worth mentioning. And the back here, heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor, and you can replace these as well. Now, just keeping both of them side by side so you can decide which one you should pick. So if you like something flashy, then rose gold. If you like something subtle, then the gray silver one is for you. So it comes with IP68 rating, which means it's dust and water resistant. So it can be worn at the gym, for a run, in the rain. In fact, it's also safe to be worn for a swim. But surprisingly, it doesn't come with any swim tracking on board. But still, it's totally fine to wear it in the pool. All right, let's have a closer look at the display. As you press this button, the display will wake up. Now this is a 2.05 inch LCD display with a resolution of 428 by 512 pixels. Yes, that's not only a big display, but also super crisp display. If you look closely, you can actually see the smallest text so clearly. Check that out. The color reproduction is also really good. And I know a lot of people want to know about the bezels. This watch has one of the slimmest bezels I've seen in a while. Now, if you take this crown, you can change watch faces. Check that out. Now, this watch face will give you an idea of the bezels. Hang on, I've got something even more interesting for you. There you go, Spider-Man watch face. And check those bezels out. They're super, super, super slim. They're absolutely edge to edge and equal on all the four sides. 
totally loving it. This is one of the displays which will truly make your jaws drop. Now, if you talk about the interface, it's really well optimized. As you can see, very snappy and responsive. One touch and it doesn't miss it. Also, because it goes edge to edge, it provides so much more detail. See where the word sleep is written. See the time. See the details that go all the way to the bottom and top. Amazing. And if you swipe from up, you can access the quick toggles. Firstly, settings, the style, which is the menu style, language, dimming, screen time can be set, vibrate. By the way, you can use this dial to rotate further. There you go. Check that out. Vibrate, notifications, ringtone set, do not disturb, raise the wrist to wake, pin code can be set, time setting, key definition, which means basically you can preset this button at the bottom for whatever purpose you want. Like for example, you can choose GPS movement, screen off. I prefer using screen off because at times you want to just turn it off. So you press this button, now the display will turn off and turn on. Check that out. So helpful. Then further below is bedside lamp. Then you can connect your phone, the QR code, about, restore factory settings and power off. Then of course you can use the phone dialer app from here. You can see the battery percentage. You can see for phone call connectivity. Suppose you're on a meeting, you simply press this. You will not receive any phone call notifications on this watch. Really convenient. Then SOS, this will give you access to the menu. Swipe further, you have alarm. You can set the brightness from here. Best part, you can adjust the brightness using the crown on the side. So comfortable. Suppose you're wearing this watch in the pool and after that you press this, it will self drain the water. Then it comes with NFC. This is one of our really, really cool features. I use this to unlock my home door using my smartwatch. It's so helpful. Then of course you can use the GPS for workouts. Of course the watch doesn't come with GPS, but you can use your phone's GPS for your outdoor workouts like running, walking and cycling. Then do not disturb. You can use the display as a torch. Then of course power off. Now, if you press this button on the top, you can access the menu. You have activity, you have sleep tracking, you have heart rate, you have ECG, you have blood pressure, blood oxygen, sports, music control, camera shutter, weather, notifications, phone call, dial pad, voice assistant, alarm. Uh, sadly, you cannot set the alarm from the watch. You'll have to use the app for that. Breathe app, calculator app, timer, stopwatch, my card. This is basically to share the QR code of your social media apps directly from your smartwatch, Skype, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Line and Instagram. Really, really cool. Receipt code, find phone, flashlight, theme, massage. This is basically just a vibration on the watch. Female period means menstrual health cycle tracking. Then there are some games. You'll have to install it from the app first. Application market, GPS, thermometer. Wow, that's also a really cool feature to have on your watch and settings. Basically, I'm seeing all the features that you see on Apple Watch are actually there. How well they work is something we'll still test further, but it's really cool to see all these features. Well, actually, the first thing I'm getting amazed is the display. Not only is it big, but it's so slim bezels, absolutely loving it. Let's quickly check out phone calling. So to make phone calls from your watch, you can simply go to the phone dialer app. I'm going to the control center and here's the dialer app and I'm randomly dialing a number and clicking dial. There you can see the phone call is being made. The audio you're hearing is not only loud, but also really clear, which is really good. Of course, you cannot make more changes right now, but after you're finished done with your call, you can simply cancel it from here. Then you can also receive incoming calls directly on a smartwatch. Firstly, there's a ringtone that you can hear. There's a vibration alert. You can see the caller's number. You can reject the call and answer the call and talk directly using a smartwatch. Super convenient. Once you're done talking, you can only cancel the call from here. Talking about the call experience. Well, as you saw, the speaker gets loud enough to be used indoors as well as outdoors. The other person didn't have any trouble hearing me, so I think that the mics do a really good job. Outdoors though, it did capture a lot of ambient sound. So my advice, excellent to use indoors, outdoors, it's decent. Also, I'd like to add, I miss that there is no option to mute the mic or to adjust the speaker volume, which is sometimes really handy. So let's quickly talk about the fit and comfort. So firstly, the rose gold metal loop strap, it fits perfectly on any wrist. The watch looks really premium. Raise the wrist to wake the display is also extremely responsive and works every time. Then we also wore the silver variant. Check that out. Subtle and clean. Then we replaced the silver variant straps with the Apple's own silicone strap. Trust me, no one can say this is a clone, especially when you see so thin bezels. Coming to health tracking. So first we tested the heart rate. 
We then also tried to check the ECG. Well, it's nothing more than just heart rate again. And finally, SpO2. So we got the readings for all, but always keep in mind that these are smart watches. So use the health parameter readings just for your reference and not for medical purposes. The Firebolt Vogue comes with over 110 plus workout modes. To access it, go to the menu and you'll see sports modes in the bottom. There you go. You'll see record history and to go down further, you can actually scroll using this crown here. Running, yoga, bike, hiking, ping pong, badminton, basketball, football, tennis, weightlifting. There's marathon, there's golf, there's fitness, dance, baseball. Oh my God, that's a really, really long list. Check that out. Sadly, in all this list, I'm not able to find any kind of water sports, which is really funny since it also comes with IP68 rating, which means it should be fine to be worn in water, but it doesn't come with any water sports activities, not even swim tracking. So that's something to keep in mind. Coming to the battery. So it comes with a 260mAh battery that will last you roughly about a week with typical use. But if you're going to use a lot of Bluetooth calling, then expect the battery life to be one to two days max. Let's have a quick look at the FB Active Companion app. So right here on the homepage, you can see your steps taken, your distance, all your health related data. You can see everything here week wise, month wise. Then further, you can log more data, sleep tracking, SpO2, ECG, blood pressure, heart rate, everything right here. Now, if you come to the second section of sports, you can actually use your phone's GPS to track your outdoor workouts like outdoor running, indoor running, hiking, cycling. So I think that can be really helpful. If you come to devices, you'll actually see the watch is now connected. You can see some of the watch faces here. Come to all watch faces. And here you'll see a huge collection of analog and digital watch faces. And there you go. Check that out. So huge collection. You don't need to worry at all. And in my dial, you can actually also set a custom watch face. Further down, there's an apps market, which basically is lots of games that you can install what you need. So like usually we see games come pre-installed. You can actually install what you need. 2048, push out of the box and a huge collection. Then heart rate monitoring, health reminders. My card obviously is to set the QR code for your companion app. So that is very helpful. Like for example, if I set for Instagram, now if I go to Instagram, you'll see the QR code for my Instagram profile. So convenient to share with your friends. Then in my, you can set target steps, unit settings, female health tracking and more. It's a really simple and easy to use app. Only thing we don't see that you can share data with Google Fit or Strava. That's something I'm a little concerned about. But apart from that, it's got everything you need. All right, final thoughts. So there are a couple of things that I miss. First, of course, is the AMOLED display. Also, there's no swim tracking on board. But keep in mind, it's totally safe to wear this watch in the pool. After all, it's IP68. Now, if you look at the price, which is just $1,999 for a watch with a 2-inch high-resolution display, almost zero bezels, Apple Watch design, and all the smart features that you want, I think it's an excellent deal that you should not miss at all. Though the price for the steel strap variant is $2,199, while the silicon one is $1,999. The Firebolt Vogue goes on sale today on Amazon and the Firebolt website. I leave the links of all the color variants in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.